moments just before a big fight can feel like an eternity. There's still nothing in sports quite like it. The energy, the apprehension, the fervor. Of course, real intensity only builds from real anticipation. Flames stoked tonight by a longing to see two of the greatest of their generation collide. Saul Canelo Alvarez has become nothing short of a boxing phenomenon. The movie star good looks, the bold red hair, a Mexican heartthrob with a track record of dispatching foes with brutal efficiency. Canelo's landed some just beautiful, vicious body punches tonight. There's a perfect straight right hand. What a performance by Canelo Alvarez. He's his boxing crazed country's best and brightest star. And with that standing, has emerged a clamoring to see him face the best. For years now, the middleweight division's most feared fighter has been Gennady Golovkin, who's risen from obscurity to the pinnacle of the sport. Your spectacles of exceptional technique and power. What we just saw was not ordinary, it was extraordinary. There it is, Cossack Thunder, predator at work. Undefeated in the ring, he employs machine-like effectiveness, a propensity to dole out ruthless punishment, belied by an impish grin. You need show, you need amazing show, just call me. I'm staying here, I'm ready for everybody. The prospective matchup between these two superstars and an opportunity to crown a true middleweight champion long seemed destined to happen. But the wait continued for years. With each victory, the expectations intensified. Until finally... Golovkin, you are next, my friend. Tonight, for Canelo Alvarez and Gennady Golovkin, the anticipation is at last over. The road work is done. The training camps are finished. The build-up for their matchup at long last complete. All that's left is the fight, and to see what happens when these two greats collide in the ring. Canelo Triple G is finally here. Mexicanos al grito de guerra, el acero apresta y el bridón, y retiembla en sus centros la tierra al sonoro rugir del cañón. Defending, undefeated, IBF, IBO, WBA, WBC, unified middleweight champion of the world, Gennady Gennadyovich Golovkin, a.k.a. Triple G. The two-time light middleweight world champion, the reigning, defending, ring, linear middleweight champion of the world, Saul Canelo Greatest fighters have worn the crown of this division. Most of these guys know the history of the sport. They want to follow in that line of succession. And here we go. First punch of the fight is a Golovkin jab. Remember, he lands more jabs than any other top fighter in the sport. Trying to present a difficult target for Golovkin. I don't remember Canelo so purposely He's letting you know right away that he's going to make it a boxing match. He's not going to stand there and slug with Triple G. He's going to use Triple G's punches against him. Here at Canelo testing Triple G's defenses. Triple G just looking to make contact right now. That's right, he's already paid Canelo the highest compliment he can pay him. That's exactly right. Little body shot from Canelo. 
You see Canelo slipping and countering to the body. This is a fastball pitcher against a fastball hitter. Triple G wants him to stay there so he can hit him. Canelo just had to be careful not to run into one of those big shots too early. Canelo looking good early in this fight. Golovkin lands a jab, misses over the top with the right hand. Lands another jab. Hard right hand from Canelo. And you see the upper After Golovkin body. missed his right hand. Upper body movement from Canelo, making his head a tough target. Canelo is much quicker than Golovkin already, as we see. He's the quicker man of the two, without a doubt, but Golovkin is the more powerful man of the two, without a doubt. If it ends in a knockout, they'll come together pretty quickly. But yesterday, he weighed in at 160 for the very first time in his life. Uh, Golovkin did so for something close to the 400th time in his life. Well, you mentioned it in the first round. Triple G is showing respect for both Canelo's power and his skills. You can see he doesn't want to get caught with any of those hard Canelo shots. Playing defense like that. Funny, Canelo, thing, go ahead. funny thing is nobody's been caught with a clean head shot yet. Well, the fight has not yet broken out. What I'm saying, the counter, counter company box telling us that one has landed so many more head shots than the other, but nobody's truly been hit with a good head shot yet. No, they're all jabs. It, it, the, the, the punches they're giving the Lovkin credit for landing are virtually all jabs. And he is throwing the jab to the head. Make the offensive fighter looks different than he normally does. And so far, that's the, the answer is yes. This is not seek and destroy ferocious Triple G. No, he's not. boxing with Canelo. He's been neutralized so far. Well, could pay a price for it if Triple G turns the counter punching tables on him, but that's not Triple G's game. Not at all. Canelo's landed all the good body shots. Missing over the top with the right hand. Good body shot by Canelo. Small left hook for Golovkin. win this fight, he needs to make it look like Chavez Rosario. He needs to put his man's back on the ropes and work him over, and he has not been able to do it so far. Now the aggression begins to mount. Good body shot by Canelo. Canelo's dominating Triple G to the body. Here's. Yeah, the problem we see here is Triple G is trying to fight his fight, but Canelo is the one who's actually fighting his fight right now. Triple G seems clearly thrown off by having to worry about power punches from a counter puncher. Yes, he is. That's the difference in Canelo and other counter punchers. He can knock you out with one shot. Sometimes it takes a couple of rounds for those guys to get on track, though not usually for him. Nope, not at all. With left hand to the body by Canelo. Triple G lands another jab upstairs. Being outboxed. Yes. Something he's never had to deal with. Left hook from Triple G. Even right then, that hook he landed, he didn't see confidence with it, Jim. Two good jabs from Canelo. He needs to land a big shot here soon or it's going to be problems for him. Yes. Triple G, that is. It's not the Triple G. Here's a left hook for Triple G. Not that he doesn't have boxing skills. It's that he's made a living pressuring his opponents and landing power punches. Triple G is boxing, but Roy was landing the bigger punches. The punches that made him respect him. Canelo is landing the bigger punches that making making Triple G respect him. That's right, and Triple G missing upstairs. Canelo slick up there. Had an open door of the counter puncher. Canelo has thrown Triple G off. Doesn't seem willing to go to the body, perhaps fearful of getting countered upstairs. That's why Canelo has a 14-0 lead by CompuBox count in body punches landed so far. And of course, obviously, that shows up later in the fight. Now it's getting a little bit looser, starting to fire with a little bit more confidence. But the hook got Canelo's attention. Canelo started throwing power shots, really good power shots. And I thought he was hurting Gennady with those power shots. On the other hand, Gennady's throwing mostly jabs. Canelo's landed in real good left hooks. 
Two rounds to one. Canelo Alvarez. The hook upstairs is starting to be a useful weapon for Triple G. He's starting the hard left hook to the body by Triple G. His best body punch so far. Probably seeing that Canelo's not paying these punches no attention whatsoever. Good body punch by Canelo. Good times against Danny Jacobs. Could he win a fight like that against Canelo? Or did he have to really put his nose in there and force things against Canelo to win? He's not doing that so far. Boxing instead of punching, but mostly landing jabs. Here's a body shot. He's usually good at touching guys like this when he has them on the ropes and then unloading the hard stuff. Hard right hand by Triple G. Canelo. So Canelo shake his head. Very comfortable on the ropes today. Very comfortable. Very comfortable. Right hand body shot by Triple G. Minute to go in round four. Triple G having a much better round in the fourth, I think. And blocking Canelo's body shots with his arms. Yeah, it was. The right hand back by Canelo. What champions do when they get hit. You know it. Again, that little left. Love can much more comfortable now. Stepping inside and throwing power punches. This is what he didn't do in the first three rounds. Gennady Golovkin appears in round four. That's right, Jim. Well put. A little mouse, it looks like, under Canelo. Left side. Hey! Now we go to round five. Interesting to see how Canelo responds to that fourth round, Roy. It wasn't like Chip G forced him into that, so it's not like he gave up a round on purpose. He did that himself because, I mean, by mistake, he did that himself because he chose to fight that way that round. It's not like Chip G took command of that round. I don't know. We see that round differently. I think Triple G, when he decides to come forward and cut off escape routes, Uppercut lands, right hand. Up to the upstairs. Triple G so much more confident now than in the early going. That's something we've never seen anybody do with Triple G. That's why I say that Canelo, we've never seen anybody do what they want to do against Triple G. But well, they that do what Triple that Canelo G make them do? already knows that he can take Triple G's best shot, boy? Yes, well, he don't know that for sure because he hasn't been hit with it. But he, uh, he feels like he's not worried about it. He's fighting smart. He's doing something that we've never seen anybody make him do before. Uppercut with the right hand. And it works. Right hand lands for Canelo. Triple G walks right through. Puts him back again. Oh, right with hand. the right hand. Canelo shakes his head. That usually means he got hit. He did get hit. But took for Canelo. Body punches by Triple G. Trying to set himself up for a right hand upstairs against Canelo. Canelo shaking his head again. When Canelo is a teenager. Fighting grown men as a young professional. You've never seen nobody come here and fight Triple G this time to try to get down. Here comes the right hand for both fighters. The fight has broken out. The crowd is fucked. Canelo trying to land something big. Triple G coming back with a hard right hand to miss it. I think in the last two rounds, it started to resemble more of a Triple G type of fight. Knocking Canelo back with the right hand. Hitting him against the ropes up. again. It's a different Gennady Golovkin than we saw in the first couple of rounds. Now Canelo has to be different too. And he lands a tremendous right hand shot and a left to the body. An effective Golovkin. Perez. Another left hand to the body. Tremendous shot. See how physically strong Canelo is. Golovkin knew this would be the toughest fight of his career. So far, it's working out that way. Left hook for Golovkin. Golovkin is a better boxer than people give him credit for, too. So he's, he's boxing when he has to box. Like he, like right now, backing Canelo to the ropes. Halfway through round six. Throwing the glove behind his back, Kenny Bayless says, Touch up, touch up!
Triple G hustle to cut the ring off. Let him out of the corner. Respecting Canelo's power. There's a left hook to the body by Golovkin, and once again, he backs off. Worried about the counter fire. Worried about something big coming back from Canelo. That was really changing the way Triple G fights. That was a really good one, too. I got it four rounds to two. 58, 56, Gennady Golovkin. You know, Jim, when Gennady backs him into the ropes, man, he hurts him. Uh, he does very, very well every time he takes Canelo into the ropes. There you go. He backs him up, hits him good shots, and when he gets him on the ropes, he does damage. Four rounds to two. Gennady Golovkin. A little bit more of a boxing match maybe than anticipated. Yes. Much more of a boxing match than most of us anticipated. I like the chances for a big fight here in the last six rounds tonight. As they begin to get a little bit looser, more comfortable firing with each other. Triple G breathing hard out of his mouth. Hard right hand by Triple G. Lands the jab behind him. The counter punching of Canelo wearing down Triple G, G or who want to get countered upstairs by a giant Canelo shot. But as close as he is, he's getting countered anyway. You saw he got countered just then when he went to the fight, when he went to the head. Surefire way for Triple G to get countered is to headhunt when Canelo's on the road. My point. Triple G cutting off the ring as always. Landing more power shots. Canelo missing upstairs. He really accept what might come back. But Triple G is piling up numbers. Yeah, yeah. And being more punches. Oh, a terrific oh, uppercut by Canelo. Canelo throws some bombs back. Canelo's oh, still in the fight. When Triple G attacks with the right hand, watch what happens right here. The second. Copy box numbers, not always the full story of the fight. Harold Letterman with Golovkin building a lead on his unofficial scorecard. And too often, Canelo is simply walking away and establishing that Triple G gets to be the aggressor. There's a good hard right hand by Canelo. Very hard Starts right to hand. follow it up. Doesn't come with anything. Good jab. Good jab by Golovkin. That's the telephone pole jab. Abel Sanchez trained Triple G to fight like Julio Cesar Chavez Sr. in a Mexican style, but you see the Eastern European influence in Golovkin from the amateurs, certainly. He has a certain amount of caution on his offense, even with Canelo on the ropes. Puts Canelo in a corner. Golovkin steps to the left side and fires an uppercut. Just missing with a big right hand there. Yeah, Canelo has to do something to slow Triple G down now. He's giving Triple G too much confidence. But he's walking away and walking away and making Triple G look like a freight train. Look at Canelo's oh, good shot. Shots like that. Canelo throwing one punch at a time way too often. Good Triple G firing in combination. Drives Canelo back into the ropes again. Jab, jab, right hand to the body. Really been the weapon for Triple G tonight, pumping that jab, pumping that jab. With his counter punching power and his body shots, has not thrown as many punches in recent rounds. And out he steps back in and lands a hard right up the top. Oh, and the left hook, and a left hook. And suddenly, Golovkin may have Canelo in a tiny bit of trouble. Canelo trying to fight his way out of it. Golovkin steps forward and lands again, pins him to the ropes. Damn. Right hand just missed. Right hand landed. At this moment, left took over the top. Right hand missed. Right hand landed. Canelo looked that one off, but they're coming fast and furious to Triple G now. Good jab, another right hand. Triple G trapping Canelo against the ropes and attacking, attacking. Predator at work. Hard right hand by Triple G. It's been a great first half of the night. With less than a minute to go in the round, he's back in a corner. And here comes Gennady. Landing more power punches in this round. Here's a hard right hand by Canelo. And he 
Miles with a big one over the top, and now Kanadi chases him again. DC Glove can come in with a jab, jab, right hand, best right hand. I see him throw straight. But then Canelo comes back as he's attacking and counters with a beautiful left hook to the head, which I think is his best left hook of the fight so far. Then Canelo with the overhand right, right over the top of the jab. That's what a counter puncher does best. Boom, right on the jaw. You know, Jim, I love that effective aggressiveness. Man, I love it when a guy backs the other guy up the whole fight. That's what Canadi's doing. Backing him up, landing the hardest, stronger shots. I mean, that Did Canelo's let Triple G have it in this Oh! Fight? This is a huge start for the 10th round for Canelo Alvarez. You heard Eddie Renoto saying to him, we need the three rounds of a lifetime. He has started out that way in the 10th, suddenly turning the fight around. Shoot right hand by Canelo Alvarez. Canelo throwing and throwing. It's Rocky Sockin Robots right now. Yes, sir. Now the fight is broken out for sure. Left hook lands for Golovkin. Right hand lands for Golovkin. For the moment, Canelo's fire goes out as now Golovkin is back in the aggressive position. Golovkin's footwork, always a factor. Pressure, pressure, trying to suffocate the opponent. Point it on. Gets Canelo on the ropes one more time. And now Golovkin with a three-point combination. And another jab. And a right hand. Canelo missing, missing. Canelo goes back to the body. That's what serves him best. Golovkin thinks he hurt him with the right hand. Flow like water, so I'm going mainstream. Yeah. In the tenth, they combine the land to fight high. 26 power shots. Canelo Alvarez unable in this first minute of the 11th. And then it doesn't take that many more rounds for Canelo to be in the fight. One or two since then went Canelo's way. He's in this fight. Good overhand right by Triple G. Right hand by Canelo. What a chin Triple G is. Oh, good right hand by Canelo. Those shots still score for Canelo. 100%. Single biggest difference in the fight has been Golovkin's effectiveness with the jab. Yes, the jab has been a difference. But we haven't seen Golovkin's fearsome power on display in this fight. No, we have not. Not one time. Maybe Canelo has a great chin, too. Good hook by both guys. No question Canelo has a chin. That's a great hook by both guys, though. Only one of these two fighters has scored a 12th round knockout in his career. That was Canelo against Ryan Rhodes. It was a good uppercut for Canelo Alvarez. He's going and knockout punch punch now. now. Canelo has come out as the aggressor in the club. And a great start to the 12th round for Canelo Alvarez. He's been accurate. Golovkin is not. Those punches are landing for Canelo. Abel Sanchez told Triple G, don't let him rest. And Canelo, coming, Triple G is walking right through those big punches. It's been a huge round for Canelo Alvarez so far. And now Golovkin tries to come back. And Golovkin lands a right hand. And that backs Canelo off. Golovkin walking forward, looking to land one more big shot. Gets a right hand in. Lands a left hook. He has energy now. Canelo was less so and land with the bigger shot. Then in the middle of the fight, Gennady Golovkin began to take over and showed his Eastern European boxing skills. And down the stretch for the last three rounds, it has been Rock'em, Sock'em, I land one, you land one back. Once again in this round, it's Canelo Alvarez who's landing the power shots. Out on its feet. Hard right hand by Golovkin. Another one. Golovkin finished with a slow rally. Crowd is going berserk. They love the action they saw. They know each other very well. They sparred together a few years ago. They have become friends. Victory for either man. We see Canelo start out early in this fight, in this round, I mean, with a five-punch combination here. Five, six, 
seven punch combinations, which about five of them landed. Then later in the round, you see Triple G come back one, two, three, followed by jab four, five, six punches of his own, seven, eight, nine punches. A three-way split. This is officially a draw. Well, I think a draw is a highly acceptable result.